Do you often feel stressed and overworked? In this fast-paced world, it's no surprise that stress and overwork have become common companions in our daily lives. They creep in, leaving us feeling drained, irritable, and on the brink of burnout. The long-term impacts of unmanaged stress can be detrimental to our mental and physical health. It's crucial, therefore, to learn effective strategies to manage and mitigate stress. But fear not, we have some tools to help you combat this burnout. Let's dive into our first emotional intelligence-related skill, awareness. Imagine your emotions as a river. The water's flow, its speed and direction all change with the terrain and the weather. Just like this river, our emotional responses vary based on different stressors we encounter. Now, what if you could map this river, understand its course, and predict its flow? Sounds empowering, doesn't it? That's precisely what awareness does. It's about understanding your emotional landscape, recognizing when you're feeling stressed, and identifying the triggers that lead to these feelings. Perhaps it's a looming deadline, a challenging conversation, or just a sense of being overwhelmed. Whatever it might be, awareness enables you to spot these signs early on. This early detection system can be a game changer in preventing burnout. It's like being at the river's source, able to make conscious decisions about how to navigate the waters before they become rough and unmanageable. So, the first step towards combating burnout is being aware of your emotional responses to stress. Moving on to our second skill, regulation. In the grand theater of life, emotional regulation plays a crucial role in managing the stress that often takes center stage. It's all about managing and controlling our emotional responses to the day-to-day -day challenges we face. Imagine your emotions as a river, at times calm and serene, other times turbulent and wild. Emotional regulation is like building a dam across this river, not to stop the flow, but to control it. This dam doesn't block the emotions, instead it helps us to channel them in a way that's less destructive and more constructive. This doesn't mean suppressing what we feel, on the contrary, it involves acknowledging our emotions, understanding them, and then deciding how we will respond. It's about taking a step back, taking a deep breath, and choosing our actions instead of being swept away by the current of our immediate emotional reactions. And why is this important? Because when we control our emotional reactions, we can reduce the negative impacts of stress. It's like putting on a shield that deflects the harmful arrows of stress, preventing them from piercing our well-being. So the next time you're faced with a stressful situation, remember this. You're the master of your emotions. You have the power to control how you react. Remember, controlling your emotional reactions can significantly reduce the harmful effects of stress. Our third skill is about creating meaningful connections. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to overlook the significance of the bonds we share with others. Yet, these connections can be our lifeline in times of stress. Picture your relationships as a network of roots, anchoring you firmly to the ground. Just as a tree draws nourishment from its roots, we too draw emotional sustenance from our relationships. When we share our fears, our hopes, and our dreams, we're not just talking, we're building bridges of understanding and empathy. Whether it's a warm chat with a loved one or a heart-to-heart -heart with a close friend, these moments of connection can provide a much-needed respite from stress. They remind us that we're not alone in our struggles, that we're part of a larger whole. It's important to remember that quality trumps quantity. It's not about how many connections you have, but how meaningful they are. So take time to cultivate these connections, to nourish these relationships. Never underestimate the power of a good conversation with a friend. Finally, let's talk about mindset and reconnecting. A positive mindset is like a powerful elixir that can transform your world. It's like an invisible shield against stress helping you perceive challenges as opportunities rather than obstacles. When you believe you can overcome, you're already halfway there. And guess what? This mindset isn't just about battling stress at work, but it's also about improving your overall well-being. Now let's explore the concept of reconnecting with oneself. It's like hitting the refresh button on your life. Often we get so caught up in our daily grind that we forget to pause and reflect. Reconnecting with oneself allows us to reevaluate our values and goals, to reimagine our work in ways that align with our core beliefs. It's about finding joy in what we do, rather than viewing work as a mere source of income. A positive mindset and reconnection with oneself can work wonders in combating burnout. It's like rediscovering a lost piece of yourself, a piece that can add colors to your life and make your journey more meaningful. So remember, every challenge is an opportunity, and every day is a chance to reconnect with who you truly are. Now that you have these tools at your disposal, 
remember the power they hold. Awareness, regulation, meaningful connections, mindset and reconnecting are not just words, but your shields against burnout. They're the keys to a healthier, happier work-life balance. It's not just about surviving the workday, but thriving in it. So let's put these skills to work and see the difference they can make. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.